my god! So, guys, if you've stuck with the channel for the last three or four months, you'll know this is my personal build. And over the course of the last three months, we've been actually waiting for three singular uh, QL120s. I think in this box, we have got what we've actually been waiting for for just under three months. So, as you're aware, the Elite Capital X H150i comes with three ML120 fans. Obviously, they're black, just like the Elite Capital X radiators and pipework. What we're intending to do today is change them ML fans out and install these QL120s. Now, I get a lot of people asking me, why did you not put the radiator at the top? Uh, and then it will be a lot better in keeping with the rest of the fans. To put everyone's mind at rest, what we're actually going to do is we're going to install a quick three QL120s on top of the radiator as it's installed now. And then we're gonna do a few benchmarks. We're then gonna change and mount the radiator at the top and we're gonna saturate the system again and we're gonna do the same benchmarks and see whether there is any temperature fluctuation. So hopefully you guys will stick with me. Everybody loves this um, Leon Lee XL uh, o11 dynamic case so hopefully we'll have some aesthetic upgrades and maybe who knows um some performance increases with the decrease of uh, temperature as well so without further ado let's crack on so let's get into this box let's hope that it is obviously these qr 120s need to get one myself one of them uh, unboxing knives that everybody else seems to have I'm using a dodgy little screwdriver. Come on. Yes, it is. It is. Is it loads of excitement? Let's get out of here. So fairly straightforward, guys. What we're going to do, we're just going to remove the ML120 fans, the three fans that are attached to the radiator at the minute, undoing the four screws, taking them out, and we're going to... In, well, we're going to install these lovely white QL120s. Um, I will time lapse it for you guys because you don't want to see me doing loads of cable management and stuff like that because I'll have to take all the panels off, etc. So give me a few minutes and I'll be back with you.
So, there you are guys. Uh, we've installed our three QL120s as intakes on the side as we did our ML120s. Um, now, as I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this back up, put some cables back in, get some power, get it all back to normal so it's exactly the same temperatures, uh, saturate it for 20-30 minutes and then I'm going to obviously run a few benchmarks um, and we'll see how they compare to the ML120s and see if there's any comparison whatsoever. So what we're going to do now guys is we're going to remove the all-in-one uh, from the side intake and we're going to actually put it as a top exhaust okay so bearing in mind the results that I've just showed you okay we're now going to remove this mount it up at the top use it as an exhaust obviously that will mean that the fans will all look the same but it will also give us uh, a differential between six intake and obviously a side mounted radiator with the all-in-one and then it will still give us a, a six intake and three well four exhausts but mounted at the top of the, the Leon Lee case as well so I'm going to quickly go through dismount obviously the radiator remount it at the top and uh, we'll run some more benchmarks and there we have it guys so top mounted uh, all-in-one with three uh, intakes on the side, three intakes at the bottom, one exhaust at the rear, and obviously the all-in-one as an exhaust as well. So what we'll do now, guys, is we'll do the same benchmarks as what we did previously. I'll give the system 20 minutes just to warm up and uh, get fully saturated, and then we'll run uh, the benchmarks again.
So then, guys, let's have a look at the results. I'm staring at them right now, and I'm thinking, maybe it was worth it then. So starting off with Cinebench R20, with the AIO, which was side-mounted, we started off in a pool configuration with six intake and four exhaust. You've got a starting temp of 42 degrees, and then we reached a max uh, 73 degrees Celsius. So not too bad. Uh, our GPU was not under load. It was basically at idle, 43 degrees. And then if we compare that to when we moved the IO to being top mounted in a push configuration with six intake and four exhaust still, we started off with a CPU min of 41 degrees and we reached a max of 67 degrees. So a six degree difference, around nine, 10%, which is fantastic. And we also dropped two degrees on the GPU as well. When we look at Heaven with our AIO, which is side mounted, um, we started off with 48 degrees on the CPU. It reached a max temp of 77 and our GPU under load reached a max temperature of 67 degrees, okay? Comparing that to when it was top mounted, we had a starting CPU temp of 41 degrees, which is a massive seven degrees drop. And we reached a GPU max, or CPU max, shall I say, of 78 degrees, so one degree more. We reached one degree less in terms of uh, the GPU being under load. So if you look at it in its entirety, we dropped seven degrees or six degrees um, when we top mounted uh, the AIO for the CPU. We had seven degrees less on our starting temperatures for the CPU whilst the GPU was under load. And the takeaway from this is that regardless of the orientation of the radiator, as long as you've got adequate airflow, the GPU's absolutely satisfied there's no there's no worries there so for me i think a six degree drop is is very worthwhile changing the orientation and to have lower starting temps or idle temperatures it's a bonus to be quite honest with you so hope you guys have found that useful and uh, i'll catch you in a minute so then guys welcome back so i just want to say if you've made it this far I really, really do appreciate your support. It means a hell of a lot to me. So if you've not done so already, hit that like button if you like the video. Smash that subscriber button as well because it really does help me out. We're on the push for 1,000 subscribers and your help will go a long, long way. So in conclusion of this video then, guys, um, ML120 fans comparable to the QL120s on the all-in-one noticed no difference whatsoever. We run the test three separate times. We took an average uh, of the degrees Celsius and we noticed one degree and that could just be pure variance. I had the, the log burner on in the other room and obviously by the time I put on the QL120s, it might it may have cooled down by one or two degrees. So in all honesty, these high static fans they, they, I'm sure they will serve their purpose, but they make no difference whatsoever in the Leon Lee uh, XL case. So the one thing to take away from this, though, is if you're looking to save 9 or 10 percent, then simply remove your all in one as an intake from the side mount and make sure that you are top mounting it as an exhaust. Um, guys, I'm hoping that you saw some value in the, uh, in the actual video. If you did, I appreciate your time. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.